Hey there and welcome back. In this short video, I'm going to explain and show you how you can enable soft deletes within the payload admin panel. Now, first of all, what are soft deletes? There's basically a difference between a normal delete, which means you click on a delete button and a document actually gets deleted from the database and a so-called soft delete, which actually isn't a delete. The document just gets hidden. So for example, again, you click on the delete button, but instead of deleting the document, it actually gets updated and we can specify an attribute, for example, the deleted attribute, and this is going to be set to true. And in addition to that, we need to set a filter that enables us to hide all documents in our list that actually have this attribute set to true. Now, why would you want to use soft deletes? So first of all, they are mistake proof. If somebody accidentally um, deletes a document, for example, an end user of your platform, you as an admin could basically just go ahead and restore it without having to run any backups, without having to yeah, basically um, rescue the data from another database backup or anything because it's just there and you just have to set the attribute back to false. There's also a compliance and regulations reason, specifically in the European Union. Um, unfortunately, we have a lot of regulations. So there is, depending on what data you're storing, you might be required to save this data, even though you might not need it and want to delete it. Another third advantage is relational integrity. So for example, if we have a payload, if we have two collections, and they are related to each other by relationship fields and linked. If you delete one of them, you might have seen this in the payload admin panel if you've been working with payload. You just see the, the ID of the old document with an untitled because the old document is gone. Now, if you only have soft deletes, since the document is still existing, all the relationships still work. And you can just, you know, for example, have a custom component that shows you, okay, this is still linked, but it has been deleted. Now there are some drawbacks as well. Again, some regulations instruct the opposite behavior. So specifically, if we're talking about data privacy regulations, um, you are required to delete data permanently if, for example, a person that you have the data on requests this. So in this case, soft deletes are not a good thing to implement. Also, depending on your specific scenario, it might blow up your database size because obviously instead of deleting documents, you're basically keeping them. And last but not least, you have to make sure to filter out the deleted documents in every single query. Obviously, you can build your standard, a standard template for your queries and always include this um, filter, but still, that's, this is something that you have to keep in mind. Let me show you how we can implement soft deletes in payload. So I have a brand new boilerplate payload setup running. We only have our users and our media collection. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new collection in the source folder. I'm just going to call it documents.ts, create a collection schema, which will be very simple. We have to give it a slug. I'm going to call it documents and I'm just giving it a field and this field will be the name and we won't have anything else as the actual fields. But then we also need the deleted attribute. So I'm going to say name deleted and it's a type checkbox. So it's a Boolean value. For now, we're going to keep it shown in the admin panel. However, you might want to hide it. In this case, we can say admin hidden true. So for demonstration, I'm just going to keep that commented out. If we go back into our admin panel, obviously this will not load because we have to add the collection to our config. So here I'm going to say documents. And now if we check our admin panel, it should auto reload. And let's just create a very first document. I'm just going to call it test document one. As you can see, we have the deleted attribute here. And I'm also going to create a second one, test doc two. 
The key feature, which is new in Payload, that allows for an easy implementation of soft deletes is something called the base list filter. To add it to our collection, we can go into our collection schema and specify the admin base list filter attribute. This is a function that basically returns a where query. So you do not have to specify where and then the object, you basically just specify the attribute, so delete it. And then you say not equals true. So let's take a look how this looks like in the admin panel. As you can see, we have our two documents here. Let me just go ahead and update the test doc two to be deleted. If I go on save and I go back to documents, it is now gone. This is the baseline. Now, the issue is if we, for example, select this and we click on delete, we are still actually deleting the document and not just soft deleting it. In order to fix this, we will need to create two custom components and update the access control and payload so that we're actually not having the ability to delete the document in the first place. So I'm going back into my collection config. I'm going to specify access. And here I'm going to say delete. And I'm just going to set it false for all users. Now you might want to improve on this. For example, you could say only normal users can't delete anything, but the admin, so if the user has a specific attribute, the system admin could delete them. You can obviously adjust that here. Now, since we set this access control delete to false, if we check back here, we select it. As you can see, the delete button is gone. Also, if we go into our document itself, before we could delete it here, now it's gone. So what we need to do now is we need to add back in our two delete buttons with custom components. The first one will be in our document itself. So I'm going back into our code base. I'm creating a separate folder called UI. And in there, I'm just pasting my custom component here. So as you can see, we get a few TypeScript errors. Um, or rather import errors. The first one we'll fix since we don't have the actual uh, function behind that yet. We're going to create that in a second. But also we're using something called use document info. This is a hook that Payload provides us from the at Payload CMS UI library. Now this will work, but the editor still complains uh, because it, it, it can't find the types. So what we actually have to do is we have to do pnpm install at payload CMS UI. And this should get rid of the error that is displayed here. So I'm just going to quickly explain what the custom component does. It uses the use document info hook to retrieve the data of the document and the data contains the ID, which we need. So it returns a button it only returns the button if there is an actual ID, because if we are in the create uh, phase of a document, obviously it doesn't make sense to display this button. So if we have an ID, if we have a document, we have this button on click, it soft deletes the document. So it updates uh, the, the document with the deleted attribute. And then it basically redirects us to the documents collection. So let's go ahead and create our missing server action. For this, I'm creating a separate actions.ts file. And there at the top, I'm going to specify use server because we're using a server action. And I'm exporting a default, uh, sorry, not a default, but an async function, which I will call soft delete documents. And it will have an array of IDs that I can give it because I can basically delete multiple um, documents. This is obviously not correct. The first thing that I need to do is I need to initialize the payload object. So I'm going to say const payload equals get payload. Now, if you're used to the version three beta, you might have been using get payload IHMR. This function has actually been Kind of deprecated or is not encouraged anymore so right now you can basically just import get payload directly from payload obviously we'll still need to specify the config 
So we'll have to import that separately. Config from app payload config. And now what we can do is we can use this object to basically perform an, an update operation. So I'm going to say await payload.update. So this was just autocorrected update collection will be documents and I will have a filter where the ID of a document is in our arrays of IDs. And I'm going to update the deleted attribute and set it to true. And we got a small TypeScript error here. It says the property update does not exist on the type promise. That is because I forgot to await the get payload function here. If we go back into our custom delete button, it should actually now find, so export async function soft delete documents. It actually should find this. So this is kind of an incorrect warning and it should already work. We just need to add our custom button into our document. So in order to do this, I'm going to create a UI field. I'm going to call it custom delete. It will be type UI. I have to specify the admin property, components and field. And you might be used to actually importing this directly. In the new payload version three, you have to specify the path name. So I have to say collections, UI custom delete, and not .tsx, just custom delete basically. So let's check our admin panel. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem like our component is showing and we get an error on the left side, which is basically telling us to update our import map. So as I said, you might have noticed this is a very special pattern of importing custom components. Payload now automatically generates an import map that basically lets it determine specifically which components to import and which ones not to import. This is a very good idea due to performance optimization and keeping all bundle sizes low and efficient. So what we have to do in this case, if we add a new custom component, we will have to do npx payload generate import map. It's just a very small script that runs. It will write our new import map. And if we go back to our admin panel and refresh, we can now see our delete document button. I'm just going to move it into the sidebar actually. So I'm going to say position sidebar because that way it looks a little bit nicer. All right, so if we click on this, it should now pretend to delete the document as you can see. But if we disable our filter, just to check if the documents are still there, we should now see both of those documents again. Last but not least, we need to add a bug delete button because as of right now, we cannot delete more than one document at a time. To do this, I'm going to add a very similar component, which I'm just going to paste in as well. It works similar like our custom delete button with the only difference being that we use the use selection hook that is also provided by the payload CMS UI package. And this selection hook will basically give us the current selection in a list here. So if I have those two selected, they will be in the selection. Now, the selected elements actually are not an array. They are a map. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically transforming it so that I have a clean array of IDs that are currently selected. So if, and that's another property to count, if the selection has a count, so if one or more documents are selected, this button is shown. And what I do here is I basically just give it Okay, this is not even necessary. Um, I basically just give it my selection array and after it has deleted, soft deleted, all those elements, it is just going to reload the page. Now this is a very bare bone implementation. You might want to optimize this to not just refresh the page, but do a silent refresh or actually support more than one collection, have it flexible, or maybe even have it as a plugin so that it supports all collection in your payload project. 
to add this to our documents, oh, I'm going to specify the components property in the admin object and in components, I'm going to define it as a before list table. So I'm going to put the path here. Now, unfortunately, as of right now, you can't really put it directly next to the custom delete buttons. So it won't appear here, but it will appear above the table. Let's reload and check if it's already there. If we select it, yes. So here it is, delete selected. Now let's test it by clicking on it. And it just refreshed the page. Now they are gone. Let's check if they are still there, if they have been soft deleted. I'm going to comment out our base filter, go back in here, and now they reappear. This will be it for today's video. If you do have any questions about the soft delete feature, please let us know in the comments below. And apart from that, take care and see you soon in the next video.